all right guys so welcome to my channel this is angel with angel spiritual messages um, we are going to do a no contact energy check for the sign of virgo um, and this is going to be for virgo and all virgo placements um, just keep in mind energies are fluent um, reverse the roles as need be if there is um, something that does not resonate with you with this message, then please check your other placements and cross watchers. You are definitely welcome. Um, please reverse the roles as necessary. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to pull a hidden truth Oracle, then clarify, um, with the Island time wellness, and then I'll put some tarot on it. Um, and I'll just let spirit give me the cards that they need to give me in order to deliver the message. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. What message, um, spirit if you would give me um, that the person that um, Virgo is in no contact with, what message would this person like to share with Virgo? What message spirit? What message would this person like to share with Virgo? about to find out all right give me a message um for what this person in no contact with virgo like would like to share with them spirit give me a message spirit i'll take this one you and i were too young give me another message and typically what I get, I'll get into that in just a second, what I, what I get when I see that. And then I remember every detail of that day. And at the bottom of the deck, I want to tell you how I feel. So what I get from this, and this definitely confirms it, what I get from this Virgo in the um, you and I were too young, I, I don't see this as an age thing. This is not what this is about. Um, this is the relationship age is too young, meaning this is someone that you just met. It is someone who is new, um, who is getting a feel for who you are. Um, but unfortunately, in that short time, this person has developed um, feelings for you that they have probably not expressed to you and probably are fearful in, in doing so. And, and I think um, with it saying, I want to tell you how I feel, they're contemplating on how to do this. They're wanting to know, hey, if I tell Virgo how I feel, and I'm am I going to run them off? Or are they going to be freaked out? Or are they going to be scared? So this person is thinking about how do I deliver this message to Virgo um, about my feelings? Because I'm almost sure, like I said, they've been hiding them and they've been playing cold and I'm sure you've expressed your feelings to them but they have not so much they have kind of played it down if you said oh I really like you they're probably like uh, thanks or something like that they never reciprocated um, their feelings and um, letting you know how they feel I remember every detail of that day which means that you guys may have went out and had a really really good time and this person just replays this day over and over in their head because you provided a level of security you provided a level of fun you provided a level of understanding and friendship um, because one thing that i can tell you is when you have a relationship um, but you guys can be really good friends and enjoy each other and have fun with no drama and no difficulties um, then you have mastered a really really good relationship and i think I think the fact of this person having fear in telling you that has drove a wedge between this relationship because I think you are putting out there how you feel, but they're not um, revealing that to you. But it looks like they're trying to figure out how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify this um, with some island time wellness. And sometimes when people are fearful, and expressing their feelings they become reckless um, and I don't know why um, it's just one of those defense mechanisms that people typically um, choose to um, employ because it's just easier to deny their feelings and act out rather than to face them um, and tell the truth and because uh, nobody wants to be hurt nobody wants to be rejected and um, I mean that's just some ways that people tend to 
to handle things. So let's clarify if I can. Spirit, can you give me at least two or three messages um, to clarify this for the sign of Virgo and Virgo placements? There's one. There's another. And here's one. Okay, so we'll see what this has to say. So the first card is heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. So yeah, I told you this was a good situation for this person. It was one um, that they weren't expecting. Um, I think they thought that you guys would just be hanging out and having a good time and it kind of you know, uh, developed into something more um, than what they expected. Um, they enjoy hanging out with you and having time, uh, having good times with you. And it, it sounds like it was the perfect situation for them and they didn't know how to handle it. Um, the next card is going to be um, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Yep, absolutely. This person is trying to figure out like, is this real? Is this true? Can I trust it? And if it is, how do I tell um, Virgo how I feel? Like, I don't want to be rejected. I don't want to be um, just shrugged off because a lot of times people think just because we have a good time or just because Virgo says that they like me doesn't mean that they're going to be willing to um, take this leap of faith with me or jump into this fool card energy and just say, let's do it. Um, because a lot of times people are hesitant. So even though people feel very strong feelings for folks, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to act on them. So I think this person is kind of in their head trying to figure out or get a feel for how you feel. Uh, hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic, um, not showing their hand and gambling. Yep, absolutely. This person did not show their hand to you. They have not yet. And uh, it is eating them alive because they're trying to figure out how to make this situation work. The next card is soulmates, um, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Yep, this person felt that energy between you two. I think you feel it too. I think you embraced it. And I think um, for the most part, um, they are trying to, but they are in fear of doing so. Um, but it is definitely the case. Um, so that's the clarification on this. So what I want to do is pull some tarot and try to get an understanding of how this person feels. But look, as I picked it up at the bottom of the deck, there's a 10 of pentacles. So this person definitely sees a long stable relationship with you um virgo so what i'm gonna do is try to figure out you know what this person's next moves is going to be give me um some clarity on this situation for virgo um spirit if you would look the king of wands and the star on the split yeah this this person sees you as their star they see you as something that is beautiful, something that is a uh, hope for a new and fresh, strong, um, committed um, situation. Um, and they are very, very attracted to you, not only mentally and physically and energetically, but all around um, with this King of Wands. This person sees you as someone who is the ideal partner, someone who's strong and stable, knows what they want and um, and the total package, in my opinion. So let's see. I think you might have gotten frustrated with them, Virgo, or either they got frustrated with the fact that they were fearful. So I'm not sure who um, cut this situation off. And but I know that there is some strong feelings here. And if you look at it on the split again, the King of Pentacles, which is a solid, stable um, person and the three of wands, this person is waiting to try to get this situation um, into balance. All right, let's see what we can get. I want to know how this person feels about Virgo. Spirit, give me three cards on how this person feels about Virgo. Oh, there it is. Two of Cups. 
Let me push that up. I hope you guys can see that. Nine of Cups. You're their wish fulfillment. And the lovers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done, Virgo. I am done. I don't need to pull any more cards. But there was some heartbreak. So I'm not sure at the bottom of the deck. Um, there is a Three of Swords. Something happened with you guys um, that brought on this Three of Swords. I'm not sure if this person got so fearful um, in this connection because they didn't understand that this was a divinely guided connection. Um, that they um, went out and did something stupid and it broke your heart. Or either you broke their heart by saying, I'm done with this situation. You're not showing me your hand. I don't know where we stand. So I'm just going to end it. Whatever the case may be, the situation ended. Um, and now you guys are both um, in this um, state of thinking about this situation because you know that there was a strong divinely guided connection with this situation, um, but you are their wish fulfillment. Um, so you guys are going to have to work to try to bring this into balance. This is your person and they know that you are their person. So let me go ahead and pull a little bit more tarot to see what actions spirit is this person going to take towards virgo what actions is this person going to look at that they want to end this old cycle that you had and come in as the king of cups and show you and offer you um their love they want to express their love to you but are they gonna do it i mean how i mean they're scared they're scared they are scared All right. Uh, what is going to be the next action from this person spirit? Ten of swords, because they have just overthought themselves into a point of no return um, by going out and causing you this ten of swords. Like they really regret what they did by hurting you or either putting you in a third party situation. OK. Four of cups. They're going to come in and try to offer you a, a new beginning, but I don't know if you're going to be inclined to um, accept this from this person. And the magician, they're going to manifest this situation. And the only thing about it at the bottom of the deck, we have the king of Pentacles. This person is coming in and they're coming in um, with the truth. They know what they want. You know what you want. But here's the thing with that. It's going to be um, up to you guys to stop it with this ego thing because when you have divinely guided connections a lot of times the push and pull is based on ego no one wants to just drop their ego and just express truly how they feel and that is what is going to be necessary in order to bring this situation back into union um, this person did um, hurt you um, and I think this is the time that you guys need to have um, a conversation where you sit down and say hey I was hurt by this, this, and this. This is what I want. I want to know if we can work past this situation and get back on equal footing with each other and trying to make this situation work. I think, um, Virgo, because you are the one watching this, that it's probably going to be you um, that is going to have to drop your ego because I know that you were hurt. And I know you're like, I'm not calling this person and I'm not. But sometimes it takes you to be the bigger person to let this person know that you do love them unconditionally and that you know that the mistake that they made in either putting you in a third party or hurting you by not telling you how they felt. Um, you taking that bigger step and saying, you know what, we can work through this. Um, because I think a lot of times these days, people just give up on relationships. This is a divinely guided connection um, with this um, lovers and the two of cups and then you being their wish fulfillment. This person wants you. Um, so you guys just have to work on it. And sometimes it is OK to forgive. And I don't care what anybody says. I listen to tarot readers. Don't you ever take them back? Don't you? Let me tell you something. There's so many many marriages that have lasted 30, 40 years because of a mistake and someone making the wrong decision. And then the other person being willing to say, OK, we can get past this. We can work this thing out and both parties putting in the work to do so. Now, if you are dealing with someone 
um, who is not willing to put in the work, then so be it. End it and move on. But if you have someone who truly is um, sorry and what has happened and really wants to build this thing with you, um, then I would say go ahead and do that. Judge people off their actions um, and not off their words. So I would say give this person an opportunity to prove it. Give them that chance and make sure that you make them prove it. Um, that's what I have for you, um, Virgo. Um, I hope this helps and I hope you have a great um, new year. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this read, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much and have a good one, guys.